Damn it, you know. Excuse me, Mr. Barlow. Can you give us a little school? No, Toya. I don't think I can. Oh, go on, I'll be late. Plenty of time to walk. And even if you go very slowly, you'll arrive earlier than usual. Put him in, all right? Bye, Toya. See you in assembly. No, you won't. It'll be sat in talks with Siggy. You better come up with some answers. Why? What are you going to do about Look, it? Look, I'm a tradesman. I need to work. There's no way I'm letting you nick my tools. I'm telling you, I didn't take your drill. How many more times do you want telling? But you sold it to Roy Cropper. I didn't take it. Oh, well, fair enough, then. If the police can't get you for stealing, they'll get you for handling. Right! Clear off! I will, and you know exactly where I'm going. No, wait. No, love, I'm sorry. He's made his decision. Liz didn't take your drill. Tell him who did. What? Tell him. I got it off our toy. The girl who's just gone to school? Yeah. She's not well. She's got a problem. Oh, don't go to the police. Don't tell on her. Is your daughter stolen? Well, it's not something we're proud of. Les would rather you thought he took it. Why do you let her steal things? We don't. Oh, come on, sit down a minute. <sighs> We've had murders, we are. We've been up and down to school. It's been going on for months. We think she's being bullied. Please don't go to the police. It, it might scare some sense into her. No, we're going to keep it in the family. Please. <sighs> Something like that be done, eh? And it will. But not the police. All right, I'll give her one more chance. She goes to see this educational psychologist, you know, every week. School set it up, and well, they say she's making great progress. But, but it takes time. Uh, oh, Mr. Webster, please let it drop. It, it won't happen again. No, it was moving house. I said it'd upset her. Yeah, I know. I should have listened. What, what is the matter with you two? How do you expect her to stop thieving if you pass the stuff on for her? That were a mistake. She won't do it again. Honest. But will he? Of course he won't. And how am I to know that? Look, you, you'll just have to trust me. You've got your drill back, haven't you? Yeah. Well, well, let's say no more about it. Please, Mr. Webster. Will you be ungrateful? OK. Well, it's the last time. Tell them what would you love. <laughs> is he paying for it this time? Who let? No, he's left his money at home. Well, send him home to get it then. Oh, he'll settle up later. I don't get you, Gary. You're more gullible than you look. I'm not saying something. Oh, he's all right. He's late. He tells a fine tale. Yeah, he must. That'll be £2.80. Again. Stupid looking bloke. Look, are you gonna open the door or what? No, he's a right weirdo. So are you. And switch this thing off. I'm watching it. You're not? Les, tell her, will you? She won't do a flaming thing, I say. Just cos I don't open the door. Right, I'll do it myself. Look, I've got enough of an headache without you banging me house down. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'd like to see Mr Battersby. Is he at home? Les! It's for you! Well, come in. You don't expect me to stand in the street and talk to you, do you? Ah, <clears throat> uh, thank you. You work in that cafe, don't you? Uh, yes, well, I'm, I'm part owner, actually. Part owner? Is that because you're only half there? Yeah. I, I've come about that drill you sold me, Mr Battersby. Have you? Yes. Apparently, it wasn't yours to sell. I parted with that in good faith. If you've lost out on the deal, hard luck. If it was a matter of luck, I would say no more, but I was conned. I didn't con you. You sold me stolen goods. There's nothing I can do about that. Right. In that case, do you give me no option? I'll go to the police. Just a minute. Roy, isn't it? Roy Cropper, actually. He's a nerd, actually. Chuck him out. Look, Roy, don't go to the police. Bill Webster came round. We explained to him he should have told you. Well, I haven't seen Mr Webster all day. 
The drill, it was stolen. But Les didn't take it. I would tell you did. I didn't! You can see the state she's in. She lives on her nerves. She doesn't know what she's doing half the time. There's nothing wrong with me! She's undergoing treatment. Bill Webster said he'd forget the whole thing. Go and ask him. He'll tell you the ins and outs of it. You're a liar! I never touched this lousy drill! We've had loads of problems with her as it is. If somebody upsets her, she just gets worse. She'll be screaming her head off all night now, thanks to you. M Mrs Battersby, it's really not my problem. Go and see Bill Webster. He'll explain. did we move here? Oh, give it a rest, woman! You give it a rest, and you! I am sick to death of having people on me back! If it's not the school, it's the neighbours! I want some peace! No point blaming me! If you'd have kept your hands to yourself, he wouldn't be out there making a show of us! He's a nerd! Are you gonna see to her? You don't take a blind bit of notice! How was I to know she nicked it? Where does a little lass like her get an electric drill? How come you've gone so I am mighty all of a sudden? It's not the first time she's brought something home. It's the first time you've been daft enough to sell it on to one of the neighbours. He's not a neighbour. As good as. Everybody in factory knows him. We get his sandwiches there. Wants it out from his place. Well, you're not going to have to. Now get upstairs to your room out of his sight. No! I want to talk to your father. Now get lost! I won't! It's my house as much as yours! And would you like to be turfed out of it again? Because if you carry on like this, that's just what's gonna happen. You can't have moan! Will you tell her? What's wrong with the girl? She's all right! Tell her I have had enough of being moved from house to house. I like this street and I want to stay here. We're staying here! Oh, yeah, we're you two behaving like gangsters, we're not. She's off her head! We wouldn't be in this mess if you hadn't sold that drill. It's all your fault. And if we get moved, I'm telling you, Les, you'll be moving on your own. A frank exchange of views did no good. None at all. I can't say that I'm surprised. Well, at least you can go home and forget them. I shall have that racket all night. I feel sorry for you, Mrs Bishop. Something has got to be done. How come